So I just thought I'd do a quick video, um, not for sympathy, fucking all, all that bullshit and all that. So those who know me, um, you know, they understand that I've got this PTSD from the army. I tried to block it out for years, and I was blocking it out. I still do in a way. Um, I've refused medication. I don't want to become someone who's fucking constantly relying on taking what I call mind controlling drugs, it, it, it mood stabilizers, fuck that shit. My way of dealing with stuff being in the gym, um, getting punched in the face, uh, feeling that pain and dishing that pain out, that helps me. So I, I do struggle to speak about it. Um, and for years I kept it in and it kept on getting worse and worse and every so often I have these like little uh, mad mad moments where I, I, I do stupid things where I you know, took big risks, stuff that could have got me killed, stuff that could have got me jailed, stuff that nearly got me jailed, stuff that nearly got me killed and I never had any fear, I never thought nothing of it. It was my way of dealing with what I was going through and it was totally fucked up and totally wrong. So today I have had, a, even though it's been a phone appointment, not a face to face, it was my first proper, proper one with Minds Matter about, you know, how to deal with it. And like I say, it's hard, isn't it? It's, it's, it you know, I've lost a lot of friends this year to suicide. Um, one of them being an ex-army lad that I served with, good lad. And that was hard, hard to take in, um, hard to accept. And then, you know, these things, they mess us up. It's like, so today, the guy I spoke to has said, that obviously me being, you know, I was 18 when it happened. Um, and it's like I said, I said it wasn't seeing the dead bodies that got me. It was the one thing that's always got him stuck in my head was seeing the victims, families leaving after adding the bodies. And that's the one thing that's, that's stuck there. And, and the one thing that I struggle with. Now, I've kept that in a long time and that it's just eating away at me and eating away at me. And it's caused a lot of problems for me. So today, you know, it was upsetting speaking about it. It was, I you know, but I opened up about it over the phone and, you know, we agreed to do more sessions and, and speaking about it. And I used to be embarrassed about doing stuff like that. I used to think, nah, man, I'm a boxer. I'm an ex-soldier. I don't need that shit. I don't want, I don't want to show weakness. And it made me worse. But by talking about it today, feel better and I do honestly feel a lot better so you know it's if I can help other people by opening up about how I'm feeling emotionally and mentally then you know I'm happy to do so I just hope it helps other people open up as well I always thought that nah, I don't need that I'm supposed to be I'm supposed to be tough I'm supposed to be this I'm supposed to be that fuck that don't keep things to yourself, man. You've got to get out there and share the problems with people that are willing to listen. And it does help because you spend half the time questioning yourself, why this, why that? And then say, nah, I can't be doing that. I'm, so, I'm this, I'm that. But yeah, you can. We're only human. We're all human. We're all the same. And talking about it has helped me still a long way to go um, and the reason why it's still a long way to go is because I've kept it in for so many years uh, trying to block it out using other methods to block it out one of the methods was the old getting on the sesh which I'm not ashamed to admit um, not only bed, you know, it blocks it out for so long but then it fucking out it comes and kicks you, kicks your fucking ass big time days later and you feel 10 times worse, so that doesn't help. But my focus has been the gym, my kids, and you know, it's, it's not, not easy, I'm not gonna lie. 
but I'm getting there. So if I can do that, you can do that. Don't struggle. Don't feel like, you know, it's an embarrassing thing to open up because, yeah, it's hard. Trust me, it's fucking hard. It's hard for me to sit here now and, and say I've got a, got a problem. But I'm doing it and I'm going to get there. So, like I said, if anyone else is struggling with, with things like this, you know, feel free to message me at any time or don't hesitate to speak to someone you're close to. Alright, guys. Um, thanks for listening.